Hello, hello. Welcome to Shady and Why. I'm Marilyn, and today we have another vintage jewelry bag from our local auction. These are critter pins. Yay! Who doesn't love a critter pin? <laughs> Welcome. If you haven't been here before, my name is Barry. My husband's name, no, no, that's not right. My name is not Barry. See, I'm off today. If you haven't been here before, my name is Marilyn. My husband's name is Barry, and we are part-time resellers. We sell on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, and YouTube. So I will be giving prices today. If you see something you're interested in, just send us an email with your PayPal email address, your mailing address, your full name, a timestamp or screenshot or the piece that you're looking for in the name of the video if it isn't today's video. And these are all critters. Who doesn't love, as I said, a good critter pen? I do. I have to say that I grew up wearing lots of pens. I always loved jewelry, so I was definitely a pen fanatic. This says critters and animals. And like I said, I got this from our local jewelry auction. And um, these are great pieces. Here is a loose rhinestone. So let's put that over to the side because I'm sure we will be needing that. Let's start with this one because this is fabulous. And it's a giraffe. It's a large giraffe at that. It is three and a half inches by almost an inch and a half. It has a green eye and clear rhinestones. And I don't see any missing rhinestones. And it has enameled black. It's in gold tone. I don't see a name. But that is very, very pretty. So let's say $12 on this piece. That is nice. That is pretty. A toucan bird. It's signed Swarovski with the swan. So that tells us it was after the mid 70s. So this is probably 80s in this style. Doesn't look like there's any missing rhinestones. Very nice beautiful, as they used to call that kind of type, a jelly belly. So let's say a 15 on the Swarovski toucan bird. This one's pretty, and I love a cat, hence my measuring tape. Oh, do you want a measurement on that one? It is two inches by an inch. So far, we haven't found where that rhinestone goes. All right, this is Closine Cat, Black Cat, with pink and red flowers. Uh, brooch on the back. That is pretty. Good condition. It's about an inch and three eighths by an inch and a quarter. At closer examination, right at the throat, there is a crack in the enamel. So I'm going to say let's do $6. This one's cool. Has a little, let's see, is that, will that come off? With a little attention, there's a little pink right here. Maybe it's supposed to be pink, but it's gold frosted and shiny gold also with a heart hanging dangle heart it's signed on the back and it says puppy love and it's signed here ajc i believe ajc is the american jewelry chain company um i believe it was in the 20s i think it went out of business in the late 70s and they made cute funny brooches, pens, jewelry. 
So that is cute. Let's get your measurement on this one. It is three inches by about an inch and three fourths. That is cute. So let's just say, because it has a little bit of scratch right here, let's say $9. But that is very, very cute. I love how the heart dangles. This is beautiful. I love how it's open in the back. I don't see a signature, but clear and pink and purple. These are pretty. They are um, pronged, so that's good. You always prefer your rhinestones to be pronged. It, like I said, it doesn't look to have a signature, so let's say 15. That is a very pretty and substantial feeling. It is an inch and three-fourths by an inch and a half. Love that pink and purple and clear, very pretty rhinestones. Look at that. That is beautiful, that sea turtle. Let's see if I can, I do not see a signature, but that is beautiful. Beautiful rhinestones and a silver and a gold tone. Like I said, I'm not seeing any missing rhinestones on this piece. Very pretty. It is an inch and a half by about an inch and five eighths. Gorgeous, so I'm gonna say let's do 15 on this sea turtle. This is great. This is a shoulder pen. If people aren't familiar with this, these were really super popular from the 60s to the 80s. I'm going to guess this one is an 80s. I don't see a signature on it. But it used to go on your shoulder. And this is what you see. So it's articulating so it can move. And here down the back, you have down the back of your shoulder, down there, helps to see it. So down the back of the shoulder, um, the tail would hang and over the top of your shoulder, some people like, as you can see, it has a pin here and a pin here. So some people put them right on the edge so it looked like it was just hanging over and you can move it. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna say let's do $18. It doesn't look like anything missing on this one. This one is a beautiful. Love that. These are some really good ones. Here's another cat. This one's very pretty. I don't see a signature. It is just a roller clasp in the back, but it's blue, two round blue rhinestones with some Aurora Borealis for the collar and gold tone. So I'm just gonna say, let's do $10 on that one. It's small, it is one inch by three fourths of an inch. But that is very pretty. This one, that's what I thought, Sarah Coventry. Very, very popular love bug. Um, in red, solid red. They also came in spotted. Um, Sarah Coventry was a home party company um, from the 1949 to went out of business in the 90s. And I, I do believe somebody tried to bring it back, but it failed. So um, it ceased to pretty well exist in the 90s. And has a, a big following, Sarah Coventry does. This one is one inch by three fourths. This is considered a small. So let's do $10 on that. That is very good condition. This is a very pretty enameled 
hummingbird, gorgeous colors with the green and purple and red. It is textured with the enamel, just um, a regular pin back with textured backing. It is two inches by two inches. So I'm gonna say let's do a 15 on that one. That is a very nice. Here's another hummingbird. This one signed Roman. And this one is missing two rhinestones right here. Beautiful green and blue gold with clear rhinestones. It is a beautiful piece, even though it is missing those two rhinestones. So it's two inches by one and three fourths. So since it's missing the rhinestones, let's say $6. Well, that's a very pretty, it's a flutter pen. So it's a pen on the back and then you pin it to you and as you walk, the wings flutter. They're on springs. Very pretty with green eyes and clear rhinestones. So I'm going to say let's do $12 for the flutter pen. Very nice. I wonder if this, no, I think this looks like Aurora Borealis. So it must be this one. Let's see if there's anything missing on this one. One, two, three rhinestones missing, four missing on this one. And so we have one rhinestone. I don't see a name on the back. It is a faux pearl, but that is a beautiful. I love that turquoise glass underneath. And it, like I said, it is a, um, brooch. I'll put it in a bag with the rhinestone, but because it's missing rhinestones, let's just say $6 also. And I'll put that in a bag with the little rhinestone so it doesn't get missing. Here we have a rhinestone cow with enamel, it has its milk and it has a heart in red and the black and white. Very cute, green eyes, no signature. That's adorable. It is one and a half inches by about one and a quarter. So that is cute. So let's say $8 for the cow. This is pretty rhinestone rabbit with green eyes gold tone it's a blue b-a-l-l-o-u rabbit blue was in business um into the century 1870s thereabouts and um they were a jewelry company however when the war started they become they did a lot of badging for the military. And then they, after the war, they went back to jewelry, I remember. And I believe they were in business until about the 2000s. And that is a cute one. So let's say $10 on the little rabbit. Here, I'm going to say we have a hornet with yellow and black, gold tone with a black eye. Those are enamel. It's signed Jerry's, that's cute. So Jerry's Hornet, and it is a brooch bag. $10 for this one, very cute. And it's a small one again. This one is one inch by one inch. Here is a enameled, I'm gonna guess Doberman with the tell in the ears, but it's a blue and black marble paint. 
no signature, just a brooch back. So let's say $8 on the Doberman. And our last piece is beautiful. Gold tone brooch with a pendant hook, all one piece. That is gorgeous um, with the texture of the wings and the rhinestones on this are just gorgeous. So I love this one. So I'm gonna say let's do, um, that's nice. It is one inch by one inch. So let's say $18 for that one. So there you go. Really nice pens. So my question, if you could please leave it in the comments, is do you wear pens? Do you find yourself wanting to pick up a pen and wear it? I find that I like attaching them to my purse strand just to give it a little different look to it. And if I'm wearing a jacket, I always want to put a pin on the lapel. So give us a thumbs up if you like this. Be sure to subscribe below if you haven't already. If you have, thank you. Be sure to hit that bell to all that way you're notified anytime that we put out a new video. If you saw something you like, send us an email to mhl tutu at ymail.com and we appreciate you spending a little bit of your day with us and we will see you on the next one. Bye!